it is still my default to give men the benefit of the doubt. And I hate it and I've tried to unlearn it, but it's so hard. And it wasn't until just yesterday when I saw a video on the other app of a creator who's on this app and that app, who talks about women's um, trauma and makes a ton of money off of it. So I've been talking about it in other videos. And so I want us to think about this. So many reasons why we believe men when we think they're trying to support us. So please don't judge yourself for not seeing any of this. I still fool for their crap. And I think so much of it is so, okay. It's rooted in, you know, usually former trauma or having grown up with men, you know, who said one thing and did something else. It's also rooted in patriarchy and all the stuff I addressed in the video before this. It's also a lot of times um, rooted in like scarcity mindset kind of stuff. You know, it's also like intertwined with hope. We're just so desperate for just one man or a couple to give a crap. And so what happens a lot of times on this app and other apps too, is that if we dare to criticize any of these men, which is one reason why I was afraid to post either of these last two videos. If women dare to criticize men when we're like, mm, something's off, a lot of times we get attacked by other women. And it's usually women who are like, no, 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 no. Like they're rushing to protect these men because they're like, yeah, but, 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 but at least he's not fill in the blank, right? But if you think about it, at least he's not hitting us. At least he's not laundry list of crazy things that we should, <laughs> that should just be like not ever okay. And so th our, that our standard, let's talk about standards. He's like, women, Rage you learn it's okay to have men? Hey, you women. Well, okay, we've literally been groomed since birth to put up with crap for men, to give them the benefit of the doubt, to believe them, believe them over ourselves. How many, I mean, God, and then they do this in every way possible, every way possible, even, you know, as simple as and as insidious as the bedroom. You know, we're like, mm, no, I'm not into this. And they're like, are you sure? I think you are. And then they create false, uh ailments like blue balls and other stuff to make to, to to prey on our guilt prey on our sense of of, of owing men things uh, and also um, women have been conditioned to center men's feelings right center their everything right because we have to tiptoe around the little baby and his feelings and how he feels about himself and his moods and so like literally everything is about them everything the same way in you know, under patriarchy, capitalism, white supremacy, and all of these terrible systems that we're all like living in right now. Same thing, like white people are the default. Men are the default. White people are given the benefit of the doubt. Men are given the benefit of the doubt. This is how we're raised. So it's not our fault that we do this naturally. So please don't blame yourself. Please don't judge yourself. It takes so much unlearning. I mean, I've been trying to unlearn this crap for decades and I still, my instinct, maybe not my instinct, my grooming or my whatever social conditioning is that when I, there's a man that I like or I like want him to be a good one, give him the benefit of the doubt every time. Even when my gut says, hmm, no, something feels off. And honestly, one of the things that helped me unlearn this was traveling. Because when I was traveling, I didn't have, I couldn't afford to give men the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I was literally hitchhiking hitchhiking by myself and I had to make split-second decisions is this person safe or not because if not I'm gonna get in a car with this man in a country no one knows where I am and I could die mm. those stakes are so high when I was traveling alone that I learned how to you know had, that I had to trust my gut even if it made no sense so again in that video like like the original video I posted so many women were like yeah something fell off Something seemed off. My gut told me blah, blah, blah. And so I think one of the things that we need to do in terms of our decentering men journey that we're all on, including men, they need to decenter themselves. <laughs> Most of them don't want to. But one of the things we need to do is to stop centering logic and what they think is superior. That logic. And check in with our gut. If something just doesn't feel right, go with that. Maybe it's a trauma response. Maybe it's projection, but I would rather be safe than sorry. Me, you know, me giving the benefit of the doubt has almost gotten me unalived so many times. I have been put in so much danger, whether it was traveling or like I've done many videos about in the outdoors with reckless men or in relationships with selfish men. 
no more benefits of the doubt. In my marriage, things are different because he has a consistent track record of being respectful, caring, emotionally intelligent, thoughtful, all of those things. So, and I still don't give him, but I don't give him the benefit of the doubt. That's what's so funny. It's like I give men that don't deserve it the benefit of the doubt and men that do actually deserve it. I'm like, mm, mm. <laughs> God, this stuff is so deep. But please don't judge yourself. We're all we're all unlearning this stuff. Like generational trauma, relational trauma, systemic stuff. Grooming from the day we're born. It's gonna take time. You're doing great, I'm sure. Keep going.